Hello, Casey from Interrupt Kaiju here, and this is EK Boys. EK? Iki? Yeah, uh, EK. Two tokusatsu fanboys in Oklahoma have obtained a rare black market anime that, when watched, ends up giving them and their Japanese exchange student friend superpowers. Long story short, Mecha has to fight a kaiju and stop an apocalypse. This is a movie set partially during Christmas, so another one to add to the Christmas list. But since it's just become available to watch, I'm checking it out now, which may be weird for an October review, but for Halloween Holiday Connection, the lead also apparently played Sam in Trick or Treat. Plus, these guys are a little spooky. Big Mouth Billy Bass. A lot of the cringe dialogue is just that. Effective and realistic to some overly otaku friends I've had in the past. Speaking telepathically to kaiju like Godzilla is pretty sexy. The two main friends dynamic is also realistic, and the father-son. Interpersonal stuff is good, but never really goes too deep into things which I think helps the movie stay fun and keeps the pace going. The foreign exchange student really loves and gets excited about Native American culture. It's a nice juxtaposition to the two mains being obsessed with Japanese culture. Oh yeah, Billy Zane is in this. And more importantly, Yumiko Shaku, the female lead from the Kiryu Godzilla films, plays his wife. A lot of references from major series name drops to visual parallels. Honestly, sometimes the name drops are a bit much. The effects don't look great, but I mean, don't hurt the movie too much. I do wish the monster suit looked a little less like where the wild things are. What I'm assuming are twists are extremely predictable. EK Boys was a fun, enjoyable coming of age film, and I'd recommend if the footage sparks your interest. Thanks for watching. Dude!